friends, welcome back to Little Bless Nest. My name is Stephanie. If you're new here today, I thought I would go over some projects that I want to work on soon and answer some questions that you guys had in my last video. And then hopefully my brother is going to be over later today to help me get my butcher block countertop out of my vehicle and onto my island. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to attach it. <laughs> but we'll see. I had a lot of questions in my last video in the comment section about the cabinets that I was wanting to buy to build the like media center that I want to put in my living room. A lot of people suggested getting just buying an entertainment center and that that would be more cost effective and that is true. You can find those at Habitat for Humanity. I've been there like three times in the last month and they always have some sort of entertainment centers in there but that's really not the look I'm going for I have a very specific idea in mind I want it to look like a built-in I want it to look custom made and um, I'm gonna explain that to you a little more and share a little um, like inspiration picture that I found on Pinterest so that you can have a better idea of what I'm talking about. If you follow me on Instagram, you guys have already heard this. I talked to you about it earlier today, but I wanted to talk to all of you who watch my videos um, so you can know what my plans are and what's going on. So let's go in the living room and I will take a look at this wall and I'll share with you exactly what I'm wanting to do in there. So we're talking about this wall that's directly behind me here where my TV is. So what I'm wanting to do is purchase some wall cabinets from Lowe's or if I find them anywhere else that would be great. I have looked at Habitat for Humanity. I have not found matching ones that will work. I need four of them and it's hard to find four that are the same and if I do find them it's usually in a big kitchen like somebody took all the cabinets out of their kitchen and donated them and they want to sell them all together so that doesn't work. I've looked on Facebook Marketplace haven't found any on there yet either i do need wall cabinets and not the base cabinets base cabinets are way too deep for this space but the wall cabinets are not deep at all they're only they're 30 by 30 the ones that i want to use so it will take four of them to go across this wall from the door bedroom door here all the way to the other side so it's going to be about 10 foot right there and they have wood countertops at Lowe's also that you can buy that are in like 10, sec 10 foot sections and I'm not talking about butcher block I'm talking about just one that's used for like desks or to make shelves or whatever you want to do with them they're like project um, wood pieces <laughs> um, that's what I want to put on top of there and then stain it the color that matches the rest of my wood in my home and then at some point I don't know if I'll do it all at the same time or not but I also want to build bookshelves one to go on each side of the TV here so I mean one on this side and then one on this side over here all of this stuff down here would go away which my mom would love because she wants this cabinet <laughs> so bad but um yeah that's the plan so it'd be cabinets with a wood top on it and then I would build bookshelves on each side and then also put trim around the top all the way across so that it looks like it's been built in there like it's meant to be there and has always been there the TV would stay exactly like it is I might would put shiplap behind the TV I haven't decided on that yet I don't know but I do think I'm gonna paint it all the dried time color that my island is and I really think that that will tie in my living room and my kitchen and make them like more cohesive which they already are but still I don't know I just think carrying that color on into my living room on this opposite wall here will really come together nicely so that is my plan I have a little inspiration photo I looked on Pinterest to try to find something that looked similar so you could get a better idea because I'm not the best at putting my thoughts into words <laughs> put that little picture in here so you can get a look at it I think it's just beautiful um, I would definitely do the the dried time and the gold hardware on those and I'd have these pretty bookshelves to style yeah that, that's goals we're, that's what we're that's what we're planning on doing here I think it's gonna be beautiful and that's definitely the next project I want to start I know Easter is coming up pretty soon I'm not gonna do a whole lot of like spring decorating but I do have a few little touches that I want to add 
in my kitchen. I picked up these cute little gold bunnies off of Amazon. There we go. And they're in different poses. But I just thought these were the cutest things. So I'm going to put a couple of these around. And then I still have these from a couple of years ago. I got from uh, Target. They were in the Target dollar spot. So I think they were, yeah, they were $5 each. And then I'm going to put my green goblets back out. Just a few little spring colored things just to, you know, liven the place up a little bit. plates here last year some of you asked me about these and these are actually just paper plates but I think they're pretty so <laughs> I just stuck two of them up here and they just bring in some pretty spring colors and yeah it's fine trying to work here trying to tell people about Thrive Market I do want to take a moment to thank Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video if you haven't heard of Thrive Market they are an online membership based grocery store whose mission is to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone and they offer a guaranteed savings on every order I love shopping with Thrive Market because it's so convenient your order will come straight to your door in a box similar to this it is sent straight from their zero waste warehouse and it is shipped with carbon neutral shipping I'm always excited to get my Thrive Market box and see what goodies that I ordered. Um, I got a couple of different things this time. I did order some of this Thrive Market rice and quinoa. I really enjoy using things like this. You just pop it in the microwave for 60 seconds and then add some chicken, some veggies, and you're good to go. With Thrive Market, you can shop for thousands of organic foods and natural products that are below traditional retail prices. I also love that it's so easy to shop on their website. You can filter through different diets, whether you're paleo, keto, whatever it is, you can filter through and it'll show you those uh, products that are specifically for that diet. You can also shop by brand or different, like shop by the aisle like you would in a traditional grocery store. They just make it so much easier. I picked up Remy and Rosie some more cat treats. I show you guys these every time. They love them. They're still eating them like crazy. I picked up some new toothpaste. I see this on like influencer stuff all the time, the Luminex toothpaste. So I thought I would give it a try. I also picked up some of these Dermaplaner little face shavers you shape your eyebrows and stuff with. This was a really good deal and it comes with a bunch in a pack. There's 12 in here and they're made from recycled plastic. I did get some more of the California Farms Barista Blend oat milk i really like this stuff i've ordered this oat milk from thrive market before it's really good i really enjoy using it in my coffee and i even like it in cereal if i have some sort of like cheerios or something like that it's not bad in that either i believe this is bone broth if i'm not mistaken i've only been hearing a lot of people talking about the health benefits of drinking bone broth lately and I thought I would give it a try. It says made by slow simmering bones of grass fed cows with vegetables, herbs, and spices. And then the last thing I picked up was the Thrive Market non-GMO kettle cooked sweet potato chips with sea salt. These are cooked in coconut oil. I've bought these before and they're really good. I'm a fan of sweet potato chips. So I'll definitely be having these for a snack. And that's all that I got in today's box. We'll put this in the floor and let Remy and Rosie play in it. They love it. 
As someone who really does not like grocery shopping, I appreciate the convenience of shopping with Thrive Market. I don't make all those last minute impulse buys that I often do at the supermarket, which is better for my health and better for my budget. Thrive offers two membership options. You can choose a yearly membership or you can go month to month. You do save if you choose the annual membership. It's only $59.95, which comes out to $5 per month. The monthly option is $12 per month. Thrive Market is risk-free. You can try out their service for 30 days, and if you aren't happy, you can get a full refund. If you would like to sign up for Thrive Market, all you have to do is click the link in the description box. It's thrivemarket.com slash littleblessednest. That's going to give you 30% of your first order and a free gift valued up to $60. I recently redid my little china cabinet here that I picked up at the flea market. I decided I wanted it to be more about storing all of my pretty dishes rather than trying to make it look cutesy in there. <laughs> so I now just have all of my white dishes in here, all of my glassware on the top. I got rid of all of my other glasses except for just like a couple of souvenir ones that I wanted to keep because I don't need like I was just stuff was just falling over crammed in my island here where I usually keep all of my glassware and I was just tired of dealing with it so I cleaned it all out and got rid of a lot of it I gave my mom some of it and just kept the ones that I really liked and I'm displaying them in my china cabinet here so I'll just give you a quick look at what that looks like so this is the glassware that I picked up at um, that at home store recently that were on clearance. I absolutely love these glasses and I use them quite a bit actually. These were from at home and then I found these at Goodwill. They're definitely not as heavy duty as these are but they're still beautiful and I love them and they're actually from Ikea. So I got four of those and I also picked up four for Ryan because he needed some glassware at his house. These are the um, glasses that I picked up thrifting and they're actually old jelly jars. So they're vintage and I just love this little scallop at the top of those. This one here was my grandmother's. I've showed you this one before. She always had these little glasses in her little china cabinet. She had one in her house. It was painted green and then I think it ended up being blue, but I always remember getting these little glasses out and drinking out of them when I was a kid. And then these were thrifted as well. These, I think these came from Hobby Lobby actually. But I just like the way they look all in there nice and pretty. And then of course I have all of my false craft dishes in here as a serving bowl and a couple of other things. But I really like this much better. I think it looks less cluttered and just more put together, which is the look I'm going for these days. I've changed this up quite a bit and I'm still not really, I'm not happy with it, but I've moved my coffee maker back over here because I found that having it over there on my little coffee station that I made, I didn't use it very often. <laughs> and now that I've moved it over here by my sink, I'm using it all the time again. And I still, I'm loving this little donkey cup that my sweet subscriber sent to me. I just keep it right here so I can look at it and I use it all the time. So um, thank you again to her for sending that to me. Um, I'm still loving the dry time that I painted my kitchen island recently. And you guys saw that in a video a couple of weeks ago, but it's just a beautiful color. I've really fallen in love with it and I believe I'm gonna paint my white cabinets the same color. Um, I'm torn. You, know, you guys know any any change or decision I have to make, I just struggle with it. I struggle so bad with decisions and choices, but I definitely think that I am ready to move out of the white cabinet zone and, you know, get some color in my life. So I think I'm going to go ahead and paint these pretty soon in the same color green. So Stay tuned for that. It really goes well with my other colors that I have here with the alabaster and with the accessible beige that I've painted the beadboard and my uh, pantry door. I want to add some trim to that and I want to make it look like a regular door. So 
stay tuned for that one too. <laughs> I've got all these ideas rolling around in my head and just getting started on them, y'all know, is my, my trouble. I also still need to put flooring in my bedroom. I did pick up some samples at Lowe's, so I'm, I'm making some progress on that. Let me show them to you. A project that I've been putting off forever now is my bedroom flooring. I don't know why, I just have not been in any hurry. <laughs> to get flooring put in there which is crazy because it's just plywood in there right now but um the flooring that i have throughout my house they don't make this this style anymore so um i'm looking at other things i definitely want something that's going to hold up well i also want something that's going to be waterproof so these are the ones that i picked up at lowe's i've got four different samples here i've got this one this is Jamestown Hickory, um, and the brand is Style Selections. This is from Lowe's. Then I have this one. This is Pretoria Elm. It says Quick Step Studio. I guess that's the name brand. And then I have this one. I believe this one has too much of a green tint to it. This one is Stain Master. Golden Bell Hickory. And then the last one is my favorite, but it doesn't match my flooring very well. Um, this one here, it's got more of a, like a warm color to it. And this one is Addington Acacia. I think that's how you say that. And this is Smart Core by Cortec Floors. This one definitely feels more substantial more durable it's thicker than the others uh, well no this one is thicker than this one by quite a bit actually but the one that matches my flooring the best i feel is this one and this is the thicker one and this is the quick step studio so um if you guys can give me any recommendations on a a brand or type of flooring that you have in your home that you really like and that is waterproof that's very important to me i have um my water heater is in my bedroom closet and you know if there was to be a leak or something i at least want to have something that may <laughs> keep it from getting too damaged so yeah these two are my favorite i'm going to show you what they look like compared to the flooring that i have here and see what you guys think so the flooring that I have in my home is um, Traffic Master Lakeshore Pecan. Of course, they still make this flooring. They just don't make this, this style, this the Lakeshore Pecan. Um, I wish they did because I love it. It's been great and durable. So this is the one that I like the most, but it's too warm to match this very well. This one is the one that I feel like matches the closest. That's pretty darn close. And then these two, I've pretty much ruled out. I don't love these. And this one here has, so you see it kind of has like a green color to it to me. So this one's definitely out. We're gonna toss that one. And we're just gonna go ahead and toss this one too. It doesn't feel like it's as good of quality. This one is the Style Selections from Lowe's. I, I believe this one is a cheaper um, option. So then we have these two, which I believe are better quality ones anyway. This one, like I said, is the Smart Core by Cortec. I don't really know anything about that. Like I said, this one's my favorite. I really love this warm color, but it just, I don't know. I don't know how important it is for it to match. Like it transitions from my hallway into my bedroom. So I feel like it needs to match. And this one right here, I believe is the closest. So really that should probably be my next project, but it probably won't be. <laughs> I really wanna work on this cabinet thing in my living room. Like that's probably gonna be my next project. Cause I just, I just, I've got it in my head and now I wanna see it come to life. So I'm, I'm gonna say that's my next project. 
I always laugh at those videos that people make where they start out doing one thing like washing dishes and then they notice that something else needs to be done like clothes need to be put in the dryer so they go put the clothes in the dryer and then when they do that they notice that there's something else going on like the kids toys need to be picked up so they get distracted from their original task and never end up really getting anything done because they keep moving from one thing to the next that happens to me all the time. Like I started washing these dishes and was looking out the window and noticed how dirty the window was. So then I started cleaning the window and then it's just like a snowball effect. It just keeps going and going and going. And then I feel like I never really get anything accomplished. I did eventually get back to washing the dishes on this day, but I do also want to show you my new faucet that I got. It was on clearance at Lowe's recently, so I picked it up and my brother kindly installed that for me. I don't have any idea how to install faucets, so couldn't get that done on my own. So thankfully he helped me out with that, um, but I really love it. I don't like the spray part of it where it pulls down and sprays as much as I did the black one. It had a bigger like nozzle on it, but this one is great still. I love it. I like the color of it and it matches my new hardware that I picked up at Lowe's really closely. So I'm very happy with it. My brother came by this afternoon and helped me pack this butcher block into the house. These things are so heavy guys, like really heavy. Um, it is way too big for my island, but I knew it was going to be too big, but they they didn't have a size that was smaller that would still overhang as much as I wanted it to. So we are going to have to cut this down. But I wanted to live with it for a few days and see just how much I want cut off of it and how I really like it before we went ahead and cut it and then I had regrets. <laughs> so it's a little wider than I wanted. It's, it's quite a bit wider than the other countertop was. And it's definitely, as you can see, too long. I did consider maybe adding legs to the end and some shelving. I've seen people do that before and then put the legs on here, but I decided that's probably not the route I'm going to go. I'm really just going to cut the end off of it and um, just let it hang over a little bit further than the other one does. And I think I'll be happy with that. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me again today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out Thrive Market. It's thrivemarket.com slash littleblessednest. That'll get you 30% off your first order and a free gift valued up to $60. The link is in the description box below. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.